because we don't have our natural gas in yet. We have no other way to cook other than a Coleman and a grill and carries a work. And we're doing lots of stuff back and forth at boat properties. So we're gonna do crock pot meals mainly. So I got my crock pot cooking cookbook and I've made a two week schedule because that's when the natural gas is supposed to come in. Um, so I'm doing America's favorite uh, pot roast today. And I'm using a beef arm roast that we got from the lovely family that goes to our church that uh, we got uh, quarter cow from. And this recipe has um, carrots, celery, onion, and potatoes. I'm using red. Um, potatoes are quartered. The um, celery and carrots are in two inch pieces and the onion is in slices. That's coating the bottom of the crock pot. And then I am to take, now if it's a heavy fat roast, you're supposed to brown it. I don't have a way that I can brown it and I don't really think it's all that heavy and fat. So I am just gonna go ahead and put it in my flour, salt and pepper, pepper mixture. And that is going to go on top of the vegetables in the crock pot. I went ahead and did all that boring stuff beforehand because I think you know how to wash your vegetables. I think you know how to peel your vegetables, and I think you know how to cut vegetables. Yeah, I was pretty sure of that. So, meat's all nicely floured and coated. I'm going to lay that on top of the veggies and get this out of the way. Next thing on the list, excuse me, got to wash my hands. Is to coat this or I'm sorry, is to top it with uh, mushrooms. Now, this is from one of those, oh, I'm so busy, even though I'm home all day, women cookbooks back in the, I don't know, 60s, 40s, I don't know, the publishing date. So I have fresh mushrooms, and I am going to stem those and slice them and put them on top. It says to cook it on low for seven to 10 hours. So I'm going to put it on seven hours and check it and see how it's doing. This crock pot gets pretty hot. In fact, it gets so hot that you don't want to sit it on your processing table that you're using in your kitchen right now. Those plastic tables apparently can't take the heat. Got a little bit warped before I realized it. But everything's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these and put these in on top of the roast and start it all up. And when it is finished, I will come back and show you how it came out. Okay, so, so the roast is done. So I'm gonna take it out. Yum. He's watching me. He's judging me. So, so it says to, oh my, uh, I didn't do the high setting part. It did say to turn up to high, but I wasn't home. We had to make a quick run. So, no, make right a smooth paste right of three tablespoons of flour and water, which was a quarter cup of water. And I added to the crock pot. So I'm adding that to my cup of water. And of course I don't have anything to stir it with. Be right back. Slide over. Nothing is really at its finger at, at your fingertips right now, so yeah. And if you hear a bunch of noise, it's Carrie getting the dogs in and it's raining out. And they think they're gonna melt. So here I go. I'm adding it. I left the potatoes and the carrots and stuff in here. Carrie said this was gonna work without a boil. So here I go. He's the cook in the house, not me. I, I eat it and cook that. Yeah. It, 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 it's not thickening, so I don't know. I may need to get a boil going for this to work. Smells good. Smells really, really good. All right, guys. That's about the size of it. I guess we're going to eat. There it is. Yum. Welcome back. 
we're gonna wander through the kitchen in the dark. So I got to come home from work early today because the storm was blowing the tins off the roof. So I scrambled home from work early and uh, crawled up on the roof before it started raining, fortunately. And uh, in between the gusts of wind, I added more screws to the tins on the roof. We have a metal roof. Pretty typical of this area to have metal roofs on these older houses. And so I crawled up on the roof and I was gonna take you outside and show you, but it's raining. And um, so the umbrella is in there. And I'm just um, not interested in getting wet again because we just moved the chickens. So we did move the chickens because we're gonna be crazy day tomorrow. And uh, we may get the coop moved at some point in time later. We moved way over there. Uh, relocated the fence, moved the coop. And, uh, out of the way. Yeah, out of the way because the Friday the guys deliver in our shed barn from the old property, whoops, sorry. And he's got to drive up through in between there and there. Good luck with that, with the rain. We shall see. Anyway, that's it for our day. We will talk to you on another time. Thanks for joining us. 